Welcome back to my cord cutting and uh, sports channel. This video is going to show you how you can uh, basically save or record or download uh, live events that are airing on ESPN channels. So we're talking about ESPN, ESPN2, ACC Network, SEC Network, ESPNU, all those um, different types of channels. Uh, if you're looking for basically how to download and save replays of events, that's in a separate video. Um, so look on my channel for that. There'll also be a link, obviously, in the description as well. But this is an update for you know fall 2022 of how you can download and save live um, you know events that are airing. Doesn't have to be an event, but programs that are airing on any um, you know ESPN uh, channel. So couple things just before I get started. First of all, I've already navigated to the main ESPN, you know, dot com slash watch page or watch ESPN dot com page. I've signed in with my, um, you know, basically my credentials uh, that gives me access to the various ESPN channels. I also in my browser, which I'm in Chrome, I went to the three dots up here. I opened more tools and developer tools Right, control shift. I that got me, uh, you know, this um, <clears throat> basically this window at the bottom here make sure you are on the network tab I've already typed MPD in the box here I'll explain why uh, later once we actually get into it I also have the following things open I have a notepad open which has two different commands in it one is for Streamlink, which we're going to use to save the file and the second one is for FFmpeg which is going to convert the file from a TS or transport stream to an MKV I also have opened the command prompt. The way you get to that is you go to start and windows and then just you can type CMD and hit enter. That'll bring it up. Then you have to navigate to the directory uh, where Streamlink is installed, at least to run the Streamlink command, which is what I'm going to do first. So I already went ahead and did that. Uh, if you installed Streamlink using the default settings, it should look, uh, it should be probably in like the same directory or something similar to what I have on the screen here. Okay, so with that being said, uh, first thing I want to do is just real quick run through the steps of how this process is going to work, and then I will actually go through and demonstrate them. So as I'm going through these steps, you should see them listed on uh, the screen for you. So first, basically going to select you know whatever event or whatever channel uh, that I want to download or I want to save. Okay, second, I'm going to start playing that event or channel and I'm going to then grab a URL uh, from essentially that event or that channel and that URL I'm going to grab is going to have MPD in it. That's why I typed MPD in the filter box. Once I have that MPD uh, URL I'm going to paste that into Notepad. I'm going to replace um, MPD with M3U8. Then I'm going to take that edited URL with M3U8 I'm going to put that in my Streamlink command. Then I'm going to copy my Streamlink command. I'm going to run it. I'm basically going to paste it and then run it in the command prompt. That will start the downloading slash saving of the live event. And then I'm just going to let it run for, you know, whatever, like a minute or two just as a test. But if you were, you know, wanting to save an hour long program or whatever it is, two hour, three hour long program, you would obviously just let it run until you were done. And then uh, then once it's, once it's done, then I'm going to run the ffmpeg command that's going to convert the file I saved from a TS file into an MKV file. And then last, I'm just going to play the MKV file just to show you that the video and audio, you know, basically downloaded or saved properly. All right, so with all that being said, I'm going to go back to the main homepage now. And I'm going to click on just what's airing on ESPN, which is the Fantasy Football Now, uh, Fantasy Football Rankings, uh, whatever, Marathon. Okay, so once that gets going... All right, notice at the bottom of the screen here, uh, nothing changed in terms of these MPD files. These were actually all already loaded um, from when I was back on the home page because it was already automatically playing it. So I'm just going to hit F5 to refresh because I want to make sure I get the, uh, the current accurate uh, URL.
Okay, that first one is not it. It is the second one that we want here. So I'm going to copy that. It's this one where I can see the .mpd right here um, in the name. Okay, so now I'm going to go over here to my notepad file. Okay, I've got this whole <coughs> long thing. I'm going to change the mpd to m3u8. I'm going to copy the whole thing here. I'm going to paste it in here. And now I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to paste it into the command prompt. Now give the command prompt just a little time to read it. Okay, so it looks like something was wrong uh, with the thing that I pasted. So let me just double check here. Maybe that somehow it got an extra space after that. Let's see. So again, now I'm just repeating the process. Just copying and pasting the, the URL again into the command prompt. All right. See, and now it's it's opening. Seems like for whatever reason, somehow when I paste, when I copied the uh, URL and pasted in the streamlink command, there was like an extra line break at the at the end of it. So it's recording now, and obviously it's not going to go as fast as say if you're downloading a replay of an event because it's just recording basically what's live. So that's why. Um, if you look at like the speed here, you know, the kilobytes per second, that's obviously not going to be anywhere near as fast as if you are downloading, like I said, a replay of an event where the whole thing is already stored out there. So again, like I said, I'll just let this run for a minute or so. <clears throat> and then after that, I'll stop the the download convert it to an MKV and then just play it to make sure that the uh, you know everything downloaded correctly. Okay, so we're over a minute and also uh, one little trick when if you're in using Streamlink, one way to stop it, which um, you know pretty much you have to do because if you're downloading a replay of an event, it'll obviously stop when the you know, event is done when it's downloaded the whole thing. But if you just start it like this, you know, there's no there's no um, command that's going to tell it to stop. So what you have to do is press Control C uh, multiple times, and eventually it'll cut out of there. Yeah. So like two or three times, okay, then it'll stop. Uh, you know, the downloading of your stream. So now, like I said, I'm going back to uh, Notepad and I'm going to scroll down. I want this. Uh, command right here, the ffmpeg command. Just copy that. Now, in the command prompt, I do need to navigate to the directory where I have ffmpeg installed. Okay, now once I've done that, I'm going to right click to paste that command. Again, this is converting the ts file that it downloaded or saved to an mkv file just because sometimes the ts files that uh, Streamlink produces, especially from ESPN's website, is uh, has like errors or poor quality. So now what I'm going to do is just on the other screen, bring up the file. I'm going to start playing the file. First, I will show the video of it. In the meantime, I actually want to stop uh, the live event that's playing because then I'm going to turn on the audio as well, just to make sure that the audio came through. So here you can see what we downloaded. <clears throat> yep, just jump ahead. Oh, it looks like it then went into a commercial. So I got the very end of uh, a segment, then a commercial break. So now what I'm going to do is <clears throat> going to actually bring it to the other screen 
and just put the audio on so you can hear the audio just to confirm that the audio downloaded as well. Play free for a $1 million top prize when you make your first deposit. Plus, if you're in a sits in Captain, if you have not yet done so, get in on the action. We want to approach 1.3 million, if not more, on, on fantasy football now. We're discussing old faces. Okay, so you should have heard the audio uh, for the file there. So it looks like everything uh, went, you know, basically exactly as planned. It basically downloaded, let's say, to your, to your computer or to my computer, you know, a copy of exactly what was airing on ESPN for the one minute and whatever it was, five seconds, ten seconds, you know, that I was recording the channel. So, again, this was a demonstration of how you can use Streamlink to download slash record slash save, you know, whatever is airing on uh, ESPN channels, ESPN, ESPN2, ACC Network, SEC Network, ESPNU, um, basically all of those. And then, uh, you know, you'll have the file on the computer and you can uh, watch it, you know, later, keep it for as long as you want. Um, just be aware. For ESPN Plus, I have a separate video about that, about how you have to do that. Um, basically, you have to use an authorization key. Also, for ESPN3, the process is very similar. Um, I have a separate video about that. You essentially don't have to do as much work because you can just grab the M3 U8 URL right away. Um, you don't have to take the MPD URL, and you don't have to change it or edit it like, you, like we did here. Um, but check out those videos on my channel if you're interested in those and also my other videos that show you how to download and save events from uh, the Fox Sports channels as well. Otherwise, if you have any questions or comments, reach out to me via email or go ahead and uh, leave a comment on the video below.